Hey guys, welcome back. So today's Thursday and I was walking around Sephora and I stumbled across like an interesting brand that really, really caught my eye. Um, and what really intrigued me to this brand was the price point. It really reminded me of The Ordinary and also another brand called the Good Jeans, I believe. They're like all from like the UK and like Europe and things like that. But what really drew me to this brand was the price point and its focus on ingredients. So today we're gonna to be talking about a brand called The Enki List. So we're gonna be talking about this little product today. Polyglutamic acid is like hyaluronic acid, however, it's derived from soybeans. So, um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with like Japanese natto, but it's like a fermented soybean like paste that um, a lot of people eat like as a side, like when they eat soups and things like that, um, like ramen and all that. But basically, its main function is to support moisture in the skin, and it's a lot more potent than hyaluronic acid. So that's why I was really excited to see it. Um, I've been really hearing about it popping up a lot in the beauty community, and hyaluronic acid this past year has been huge. It's been used in like makeup, serums, skincare, foot care, hair care. So. I thought let's get a jump on this new ingredient that's going to be big in the next couple of years and really show you guys how I'm going to incorporate it into my skincare routine and why you guys need it. So what I'm going to start off with today is my grapefruit cleanser from Malin and Gats. I really really love this cleanser because it's a gentle non-foaming low pH cleanser um, and the scent of the grapefruit comes from the grapefruit extract so you're going to get a little bit of brightening but it's also going to help with cleansing too. And grapefruit is a natural antiseptic so it's gonna help with like acne not so much like getting rid of acne but it's gonna help with cleansing the skin so that you don't break out what I'm gonna follow up with next is gonna be Irish more mud purifying black mask if you guys follow me on Instagram or if you've seen any of my videos before I am a huge fan of this mask not only does it draw out a lot of oil and just clogage um, it's hydrating at the same time so I'm gonna be using those two first and then lastly I'm just gonna follow up with the polyglutamic acid and then I'm gonna put another moisturizer on top of it just to lock everything into place because a lot of times we often mistake um, boosters let's just get it right hyaluronic acid is a booster and the polyglutamic acid is a booster as well so we also have to add something on top of that to lock it into place these are humectants so they're going to pull in moisture from the environment but they're not going to lock it in um no matter what we think they're just going to just keep bringing in moisture so that the skin stays hydrated but you also have to put something on top of it to like lock it into place so yeah let me shut up and let's get started and i will be right back Hey Google, what's polyglutamic acid? According to Wikipedia, polyglutamic acid is a polymer of the amino acid glutamic acid. So, you heard it here first, kids. <laughs> I usually go really thick with this mask, but I don't need to because my skin's pretty clean. Um, and I'm not going to leave it on for 10 minutes because I don't want it to deeply extract because like I said my skin is pretty clean um so I've been using like my AHAs and I've been exfoliating five minutes on the timer all right time's up right so here we got the little box I'm gonna open it up. it has like this little plastic seal off okay so it's a looks like a pump yep it's a pump all right so it's cool so it's, it kind of feels cooling but that's because it's kind of cold in my room it's a clear gel that doesn't have a smell okay yes kind of smells like, I don't know if you guys are familiar with like the soy face cleanser from Fresh, but that's what it reminds me of. 
So I'm just applying like a pea sized amount that it advises and off, off contact definitely feels very hydrating. It has great slip and it feels like it's just penetrating into my skin. It's not sitting there and it's absorbing really, really fast. She really, really liked that. So there's no residue. My skin feels bouncy. So I just let that sit for a little bit more and it definitely just seeped right into my skin but it doesn't feel like my skin's dry. Um, it does feel like you can use it on its own but I definitely know for a fact that like in a few minutes, probably like an hour or so, if you have really dry skin it probably will just soak right in but it is a lot more hydrating than hyaluronic acid, I will say that. So after applying my moisturizer, definitely do see a difference. Um, my skin just looks really not. I don't. I don't want to say glowy because glowy has like a sheen. Um, definitely looks hydrated and just fresh. Um, like my skin is moisturized and hydrated. So definitely do like that. What I will say is, basically, in my next Affordable Friday video, I'm gonna incorporate this polyglutamic acid um, as my serum with whatever I use just to show you guys like how it's going to work and how it continues to work and if I react to it the wrong way. So stay tuned and again, thank you for watching. Bye.